Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. I've got some light on in there, but the lighting doesn't seem so bright today for some reason. Um, this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep, number 75. And the whole point of this is that I just talk for about an hour about pretty much nothing. Uh, and that's it. it. Might seem like a an unusual thing to do. And I suppose in some ways it is quite an unusual thing to do. But I feel that way about people that maybe, or the activity rather, not the people, but the activity of hand gliding or parachuting or mountain climbing or um, was it called potholing? You know, where people climb into, go into cracks in like a, a, in the ground and then start exploring like a cave and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, we all do different things, don't we, to, uh, amuse ourselves so this isn't really this is kind of like a I try to explain it every time every time I start a new session I try to explain hi uh, so I've got I'm doing this live on Facebook so I will say hello to people as they come you know on online but I also am aware that most of the people that will be watching or listen to this, will be listening after it's been live. So say hi to Boston Chicky. And um, only listen to this or watch this video, whether it's live or whether it's, well, I'm live, I'm, you know, hopefully I'll, otherwise I won't be able to do this, would I? But, only listen or watch if you can safely close your eyes because it is intentionally boring hence the title let me bore you to sleep so this um, if you're looking for a stimulating uh, party atmosphere then this probably isn't the place for you right now but if you're looking for something relaxing and calm and kind of pointless but at the same time with a point so that's that might seem like a kind of a strange thing to say but I think that's what this is I'm just going to arrange the oh, that's a bit better arrange the microphone stand or the the um, stand of the uh, was it? I don't know what to call it really. It's a tripod, so it's a stand which holds a connection, which can hold a camera or can hold a phone, depending on what additional connection you add to the particular you know, into the thread of the connection that's connected to the top of this tripod holder thing. If that makes any sense. So I did this last night, or yesterday, again, it was early hours of the morning, on Sunday morning. And at the end of the session, after an hour, I you know came to the end and I looked at Facebook 
and it had been shared quite a few times, which was fairly unusual because I hadn't shared it. So I don't know who had shared it or where they'd shared it. But some people started coming on here and talking to me, saying that they'd seen the link on Craigslist. And they started asking me about a sofa, which they thought was on sale. And they thought that this was, a. I think one asked, when does the auction start for the uh, sofa? Or did they call it a couch? Yeah. Coo coo not cooch, couch. So they said, when does, the, when does the sale start, the auction? And I said, what auction? They said, the auction for the, for the couch. I said, but I don't have a couch. Why would I do an auction for a couch that I don't actually own or possess or, you know, unless I suppose I was holding the auction for somebody else that did own a couch and was using my uh, auctioneering skills but then that would kind of mean that I'd need to have some kind of auctioneering skills and I've never I've never auctioneered before and I don't know if you've seen any of those auctioneering programs like uh, warehouse auction, auctioneering, you know, where they go into a job lot place and the bloke speaks about 700 miles an hour. I'm probably not the person to be, you know, being an auctioneer because by the time I describe the first item, uh, well, it'd be time for the next program to start, I guess. You know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm not an auctioneer. I don't, I don't think I ever really wanted to be an auctioneer. I don't think that's ever been on my list of hopes and aspirations to be an auctioneer. Yeah, I don't... No, it's not something I ever really kind of aspired to. There's been a few jobs that I considered that I might like to do. And it depends how far back you want to go, but... I think when I was, when I was, I think when I was at school, so I know some people, some kids, uh, there's the cliches now of uh, uh, wanting to be a train driver or wanting to be an astronaut or something like that. and. Although I did used to read books about astronomy and I used to, I actually used to draw spaceships as well. Um, I don't mean, I didn't go to NASA or, and you know, they didn't give me access to the various spaceships that have landed and you know, in their underground bunkers that they've hidden away and let me, didn't let me, here's a sketch pad, Jason, just draw them, but don't tell anybody. But not like that. What I mean is, I used to kind of design my little spaceships. They were more kind of in the, kind of like Buck Rogers kind of period, when Buck Rogers was on television. Um, in the early 80s. I used to like Buck Rogers. And uh, I actually drew him. There was a period of time when, because I had chicken pox, I think, at this particular time that I drew him. So I had Looking Magazine, which is the magazine I used to get. I used to get Looking Magazine and The Dandy. 
and they were two, basically two, two comics for children, but one of them was uh, more of a television based comic. And I think my oldest brother used to get football magazines and then my other old older brother, the middle one, he used to get, if I remember rightly, Beano and Wizard and Chips. So he used to get the Beano and Wizard and Chips. I used to get the Dandy and uh, look in every week and I used to collect the comics I, I'd collect them for years actually and I watched the yeah so I, I had there used to be posters that used to come with look in magazine of all the the latest pop stars and television stars and uh, maybe football stars, sports stars. Because um, I remember I had a picture of Sharon Davies, who was an Olympic swimmer. She was an Olympic gold swimmer. She was a bit of a superstar at that time. And I had a picture of her on my wall. And I think Adam and the Ants, there used to be pictures of Adam and the Ants, and there was pictures of Shaking Stevens, uh, and these were posters, so in the middle of each copy of Looking, it might have been called Looking Weekly. Or it might have been called Looking Looking Magazine. It's spelled L O O K I N. But I think it was Look and then In. There might have been a dash between the Look and the In. Um, Battlegar, Battlegar Stalactica. I'd, I used to watch that when it first was out, I think late 70s, early 80s. Buck Rogers, I liked it for quite a few different reasons. It was, you know, it was funny, it was uh, creative, it was just really entertaining. It used to be on, on a Saturday early evening if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was a Saturday evening. And I remember Buck Rogers because he had, for some reason, he was always getting his top off and he had a really hairy chest, a bit like Magnum. They were kind of the two hairy chest men, Magnum P.I. and Buck Rogers. And then who else? Again, another hairy man, um, Mork from Mork and Mindy. So I used to have pictures of him, so posters. I think I probably had him on my wall with his stripy top. And so that used to be on on Saturdays as well. But that's, you're going back to like 1978, if I remember correctly. So late 80s used to kind of be on until the early 80s late 70s into the early 80s rather because so I have this memory of going to the cinema with my oldest brother and he took me to see Superman I think it might have been Spider-Man but he took me to the cinema on a Saturday afternoon and when we got home we got back just in time to watch Mork and Mindy and we were living in the old house 
where my nan and granddad ended up living. Um, so I do believe more Mindy would have been on late eight, late seventies, the same kind of period as the Bionic Man. I think that used to be in on Thursday evenings. And if I'm correct, I think Charlie's Angels used to be on on Tuesday evenings. Yeah, that's if I remember correctly. There was a time when Star Trek, I kind of got to say the original series, but at that time there was no other series. That was the only one there was. Um, but they were from the 60s. Uh, in the early 80s, I think every Monday evening on a BBC Two around 6.30 maybe, Star Trek used to be on, you know, the one with uh, Captain Kirk. So Superman was 1978. Yeah, I saw Superman 78. I'd be eight. Depending on what time of the year it was. Because if I was... If I saw it after the end of August in 1978, I would have been eight. If I'd seen it before the end of August, 1978, I'd have been seven if it had been during that year. So if it had been, if Superman had been released at the cinema in January, 1978, I would have been seven. If Superman the movie, if it had been released in February 1978, I would have, yeah, I would have been seven as well. If it had been, if Superman had been released at the cinema in March 1978, I would have been seven. If Superman had been released in April 1978, good time for chocolate eggs, I would have been seven. May time, which would probably be summary. I don't mean as in we're just going to summarize what I'm saying. I mean summary as in like warm weather, uh, daffodils, although that's kind of more spring, isn't it? But spring and summer, they do kind of mingle together a little bit. They're quite, quite nice, uh, happy dancing partners. I don't think I've ever heard, you know, you, you hear people that call their children spring. Not that often, but you hear summer. People call their child summer or autumn. But I don't think I've ever heard anyone called winter. Oh, by the way, autumn. I don't know if you if you're not if you're in America. Autumn is yeah fall. You call it fall. So I can't imagine as many children called fall either. Yeah, we call it autumn. I don't know what the correct name for it is. I'm going to assume that autumn is the right one. 
so I'm not quite sure how I wonder how fall came about why it's called fall why don't we call spring you know why don't we call why can't we call that jump and winter we call that shivery what's the other one summer we could call that where's the air conditioning yes I suppose we could all have different oh Andrea on here says that the reason it's called fall in the United States of America is because the leaves on the trees fall oh that's a long-winded way to get to the word fall. So I suppose based on that logic, we could call the summer cold shower. Couldn't we call summer cold shower? cold shower it's so hot I'm all sweaty and stinky and now I need a cold shower or you could call it summer oh you could call winter couldn't you could call winter um, where's my towel it's winter or it's so cold I'm gonna have a nice hot bath and I'll just uh, shampoo my hair. Oh no, I've got shampoo in my eyes. Where's my towel? So that, yeah, based on the logic of the last kind of words of a sentence pertaining to a particular season. I mean, autumn. Yeah, fall, the leaves fall. It's also windy though, isn't it? Which is why the leaves, not the reason they fall, but that's why they fall in such a way that they do. In like a, a blast of wind, windy, leafy stuff. So spring, I wonder why we call it spring. The leaves spring out, is that what, what it is? The leaves spring instead of falling, they spring. Yeah. Autumn could be slip, couldn't it? Whenever, because when I do, when I walk through the park in autumn, the whole place is full of leaves. But when they're mashed down by all the people walking, cause me to slip. Andrew said, Google it. I'm making stuff up. I don't need to Google. I, uh, in my world, things are whatever I tell them to be. It's quite good. So if I decide that a suitcase is called a suitcase because someone once needed to, um, they actually needed somewhere to put their suit, um, but they were shaped like a suitcase. So that's the kind of shape they made their suitcase out of even though it wasn't really any good for a suit because it was actually laid out flat but that was the shape of them and then that's how it is there's no googling needed I know people that they don't google 
it's like don't use the internet and um, some people are still they have old information just like passed on from years and years and years ago that isn't actually correct which if you went onto YouTube you could actually see a video giving you the exact thing that happened let's say it's a news item or you know whatever sporting event and it's hard to try to explain that that actually they've got the wrong information because some people like to really cling to it like it's a sticky tissue you know like it's gonna somehow produce life and it's not it just needs to be flushed away so yeah Andre, Andrea Andrea says throws a pillow at Jason's face no no pillows pillows are really good for sleeping on you know I noticed that it's really good you know if you when you lay down if you got a pillow get a pillow if you put it at the top of the bed like where your head is and then you rest your head on the pillow it's really comfortable I really recommend trying it it's a uh, it's really really comfortable and I find that if you get a nice comfortable position where a pillow is involved you can just drift off to sleep it's nice I'm surprised this laptop is making as much noise as it is I didn't think it would normally it's seems quite quiet but there again it is quite quiet in here which is part of the reason why I do these things in the middle of the night because that's the only time when it's as peaceful as this what was I going to say oh going back to the Mork and Mindy Superman I think it June if it had been June 1978 I still would have been seven if it had been July 1978 I would have been seven even if it had been the 1st of August 1978 I still would have been seven because I was seven for ages and ages it seemed to last longer than a year however at the time I don't think I was really that bothered about age and I don't think kids really are really that worried about age or care about age it's just that maybe the parents make a big deal about it so how old are you how old are you oh God, say your age oh Jason say your age how old are you? You can do it. Tell me your age. How old are you? I'm 23, Dad. I'm 23. Leave me alone. So, yeah, it's kind of... It's not really a big thing for me, really. The whole age thing so much is what it... It's not even that much of a big thing now. It's just, just an age. It's an age, isn't it? Just an age. It's just an aggy... So, again, I have to keep everything nice and light because this is a sleep session. Let me bore you to sleep. Relaxing, calming, 
loosening, floppying, I'm trying to think of some other words, I'm not sure if floppying actually exists, I've just invented floppying, why not? Other superhero films I liked <sighs> is Spider Man, the original Spider Man film, which was around the same time as Superman. Might have even been earlier, but it might have been later. Andre has just popped out to. I don't know what he's coming out to do. He's just come out, he's done a wee wee. He's now laying under the table because he knows I can't get to him without getting out of the chair. I'm going to grab him though. Andre is back again. It smells lovely. It does. It does. It doesn't always smell lovely, I'll be honest. But he has a smell, kind of uh, a really nice. I don't know how to explain it. I suppose just Andre smell. He just smells like my boy. And you've got a beautiful smell, haven't you? Yes, he has. Don't you smell lovely? Let me give him kisses. Mm. Give daddy kisses all day long. You can give daddy kisses. By the way, I'm holding a ferret up in just in case you're, you're thinking that the audio is turning weird if you can't see. It's just me and Andre. As I say to anyone, if you are still awake listening, if you're listening to the audio or whatever, you know, If you check out the video on YouTube or wherever, you can stream it live, not live, but you can stream it on my website as well. You can see the little Andre the Ferret just chilling out. Yes, yes you can. Does his little sigh. Just like that, don't you? So I should say hello to those of you that are listening, well, watching on YouTube, of course. Those of you are watching on Facebook. I should say hello to those of you listening on SoundCloud when you listen to this. Uh, Hello to you who are listening on Spreaker. Hello to those of you that are listening on iTunes. Hello to those of you that are listening to me on Castbox. Hello to those of you that are listening to me on iHeartRadio. Hello to those that are listening to me on Spotify. Hello to those of you that are listening to me on... Where else? 
tune in. Hello to those of you that are listening to me on Stitcher. And any other uh, maybe mobile phone apps that you're listening on. Or hello if you've downloaded this free MP3 from my website at jasonnewland.com. It's always lovely to have your company and for you to be, I don't know, you're part of this, you're part of this experience. Whether or not you're watching live, whether or not you comment or anything, you're part of it if you're listening at some point, somewhere, even if it's in 20 years time. You're part of this. We're all in it together. Have you got his tongue out? Have you got your tongue out? He wants to let go now. Do you want me to let you go? He's tired as well, aren't you? I'm gonna let him go. There you go. Go and do your thing. Whatever your thing is. I quite like sticking him on the live broadcasts when I get a chance because what I'm gonna be doing at some point is I'll go through some of the videos and just sort of maybe edit those little bits out to make a little collage, like a video collage, if that's such a thing, of clips of Andre. So I wonder what other films I watched at that time. The heating's gone off. It's getting, uh, yeah, winter could be called radiators, couldn't it? Because you need radiators on. Hmm. So I haven't done much today, really. I mean, literally, I haven't done much. I, it was quite nice. I didn't go to bed till early hours, whatever time it was. But for some reason, Andre, he wanted to come to bed with me. Normally, he's not really a cuddler when it comes to sleeping. He likes to sleep at the bottom of the bed. You know, so that I'm not bothering him. But for some reason, he wanted to sleep at the front, at the top of the bed with me, on top of the, the quilt. And he stayed there for hours and hours and hours. And he was, in fact, I was out of bed before he was. So that was quite nice. Just uh, having him there, hearing him, hearing him breathing and maybe having a little dream and then I fell asleep and I was probably dreaming and he was probably saying, Daddy, Daddy, shush, you're snoring again. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. He might, I don't know if he did that or not. But he, yeah, I'm sure he must have probably got off the bed a couple of times as well and came back. 
but I didn't hear that. I was asleep. He seemed quite happy. So I didn't really do a lot. And then I did a deep sleep whisper session earlier on, or yesterday, which is uh, in the evening. So I did that video, did the audio first and made a video and uploaded it and did all the, the work involved there. So that's nice because that that podcast for the deep sleep whisper hypnosis is uh, fairly popular. So I haven't done one since the 2nd, I think, of January. And it was the 6th of January yesterday. Or was it the 4th of January I last did one? I think it was four days ago. Yeah, it would have been because if it was a 4th of January, because I'm looking at my 2019 calendar as we speak, it's on the wall over there. And my intention this year throughout 2019, including January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I managed to do 11 months, I better do it again. January, I know because I've already done January. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 2019. Throughout those 12 months, including this month, which is January 2019, it is the, yeah, it's the 7th today. So my aim is to produce 1,000 videos and MP3s throughout 2019, which would mean doing about three a day. So far, I've not really reached that. So here's so far what I've done. On the 1st of January this month, I did one recording. On the 2nd of January this month, which is five days ago, yeah, five days ago, uh, I did two sessions. On the 3rd of January, I did zero sessions. On Friday the 4th of January, I did one session. On Saturday the 5th of January, this month, I did one session. On Sunday the 6th of January, I did two sessions. So yesterday I did a Let Me Boy To Sleep number 74, which was early hours of the morning. And then in the evening I did that deep sleep number 17 deep deep whisper or deep whisper sleep or whatever it's called number 17 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And including this eight. So that means this is the eighth session I've done so far this week, um, so far this year rather, but also so far this week because it's still only Monday. So that would mean the entire week. So at the end of today, I'll have done eight unless I do more later. Because on Thursday the 3rd of January this year, a couple of days back, I was out all afternoon. So I just didn't have the inclination to really do anything. But there again, I was out all day on Saturday as well. But I still did something on Saturday. So, you know, it just depends on how you, how you sort of feel, I suppose. Or how I feel, rather. But I, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, my aim, my aim was as a very basic, do one let me bore you to sleep every day during 2019 and do one deep sleep whisper every day during 2019. And then get the remainder of what's needed through doing other things, other sessions. Now the deep sleep whisper ones seem to be coming quite regular and if they're useful then I will continue to make them. But I'm not just going to make them for the sake of it. Um, but. You know, as I said earlier, more people would listen to them afterwards than watch them live. But recording it live is a lot easier for me in a sense of not having to do any editing. And it's not just through laziness, although that does that is part of it but it's also about time because if I make a video for an hour you know offline just make it on the camera on the phone and then try to you know upload that you know and all of what I need to do is it, it takes sometimes a few hours to upload sometimes it just won't upload because of the the size of the file so it's kind of more for administration purposes that I do it this way. Although, I've got a friend in America that says that she's gonna send me her iPad to, to use for um, doing this, you know, doing these things. So then I might be able to, might be a way of transferring the files to the iPad from the iPhone or maybe do the live streams on the iPad and then 
do the editing and upload it to YouTube so it might be a lot easier and more uh, which might be better um, just say hello to Beth Marie uh, hello so I'm just you've been on it before so you, you know this is just me talking about nothing really it's it's an hour of I like to think of it as it's not just nonsense although it it can be but it's also it's a relaxing time I try and keep things light uh, I don't generally talk you know I try and keep things gentle and light and even regardless of what other people might post while I'm doing it if yesterday was an example of that I try and uh, laugh my way around it so as not to uh, affect the relaxing sleepy experience that may be involved with those that are watching or listening to this session for those purposes um, so yesterday I had a few people wanted to actually join in the the chat and actually come online and onto the screen and talk and I had to sort of say no thank you because this isn't that kind of thing um, just because it's it's kind of not fair on those that are listening to it and they're relaxed and suddenly there's another voice comes on and you know it could be kind of jolting a bit is my microphone slipping down my I'm just going to touch the microphone gently just barely two seconds I think it's falling down sorry if this is a little bit of a weird sound but the microphone needs to be oh so I'm touching the microphone basically the little furry bit on the end of the microphone has disappeared I think Andre might have I wonder if he's eating it oh there it is god that was the chair squeaking sorry about that just shows you things sound different when the when that isn't on when the spongy thing spongy bit isn't on the microphone it um, kind of makes things sound different so I do apologize for if things have been sounding a bit weird because I haven't had the sponge bit on the microphone so it might be it might be a bit scrapey some of the sounds and also when I was looking for the microphone not realizing that it was still there see how tiny it is there you go look that's absolutely tiny I haven't heard those words in ages I really need to get myself a girlfriend look in fact if you go like this it's like a little Michael Jackson I want you back oh I want you back A B C as easy as one two three <laughs> C 
to yeah how many more minutes have we got we've got five more minutes so the good thing is there are different density of sponge Yannicka says the only reason um, I would put it back on to the microphone but I know that it's going to make a bit of a uh, a lot of kind of feedback kind of stuff possibly and some people might have well hopefully like drifted off asleep that's why sometimes near the end of the session I might say a few silly things but nothing bad but um, I, I don't want to kind of start making strange noises um, by like scratching the microphone or anything like that does that make sense so that's why I kind of can leave it off but I will put the protection I will put my protection back on the end to um, protect the hole make sure that um, what goes in only what goes in is safe, you know, that is, um, the thing is, I don't think I've ever used this microphone without the little Michael Jackson head hat that he used to wear, he used to wear a little hat, it a bit looks a little bit like the, the Tower of London hats that the, the guards wear, you know, the little microphone hats. So, but the the Tower of London, they don't like it when you try and talk into their heads, especially when you start singing. And don't ever tap on the head going, one, two, one, two, testing, testing, one, two. They do not like that at all. But yeah, so this is, this is my little protection. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll put it on when I finish this session and um, just say thank you to Beth and Yannicka says go watch the Aquaman there are so many sponges on the sea you know what I do want to go and watch Aquaman but I've got no one to watch it with and I don't want to go on my own so there I do want to go and watch R oh, the thing is, sometimes I get a little bit confused when I watch, because I've seen Aquaman on, obviously on, you know, on the, the Batman, Superman film that he was on. And sometimes I get a bit, a little bit lost in, when I was watching that film, seeing Aquaman, because I'd be watching it and suddenly I'd lose concentration and I'd see myself and i think, what the hell am I doing on the screen? Well, how did I get up there? And then I realised it's not me, it's Aquaman. Because, you know, clearly we have very similar bodies. And it's, uh, put it this way, if my life story was ever told, um, they'd need to pretty much get him to play me. And you'd see him talking about, you know, doing, talk about nothing on a, on an iPhone online, so you'd need to get that actor to play me. Yeah, I imagine it'd be quite expensive, but it should be. If it's a film about me, it should cost a lot. That's what I think. I mean, think about it, really. I'm only so solitary that. Even if you did make a film about me, you'd only need one actor because and a ferret. And you could just get a little stuffed stuffed doll, couldn't you? And pretend it was a ferret and just go like that. Or you could borrow Andre or you could use footage, real footage of Andre, you know, and kind of superimpose it onto the the thing you know, onto the video. Maybe. So 
yeah I got oh, oh, I've got a story to tell you I've got a light I've got this light which is specifically to be put in around behind the camera so that it kind of light makes the light in a bit better and stuff it was so bright I couldn't look at the camera I was like that as it was so and it didn't just didn't do the job and it like cost me 19 pound and that wasn't expensive but just seemed like a bit of just a waste of money uh, yeah so Yannicka says nice seeing you so is that nice seeing me smiling or nice seeing me and you're smiling and little little love hearts on your cheeks I can't see my eyesight's terrible I can't I'm not sure if you're if those emojis are, are nice emojis or you're or they're you know sticking your tongue out at me I don't I can't hardly see them oh I am am I smiling oh thank you that's my smile that's my uh, practiced smile you know when I was 17 no 18 I worked in this factory I lived in this room I rented a room and the house was full of women just just happened to be every single room was taken up by young women and the landlady that lived there as well and the landlady they were all standing around one evening watching Hail and Pace on television he was in one of their rooms and I was just it was quite funny I was laughing and the landlady she said you know what you look much better when you smile that's the whole story that's why I'd share it with you so I remember back after that it's kind of stuck with me a little bit and then in so that was when I was 18 so then when I was 27 no 27 yeah 27 yeah 27 when I was 27 so I waited nine years and I thought oh perhaps I'll give this smiling a go give it a go because I had a job in a I like was working in a nightclub and I thought I oh, know I'll see how this smiling stuff hap you know see if it's if it does anything if it goes anywhere and it did it did it's uh, yeah I think people are, found me a little bit more approachable when I smiled compared to grimacing not that I don't think I've really ever been a grimacer I don't know grimace I don't know what a grimace is that a grimace I'm not sure but um yeah that's I think I don't know because when I do these recordings so if I do a some of my past videos like if you go back a few years ago some of them I kind of keep quite a straight face and very I'm not always serious you know the whole way through but some of them I'm quite serious in them but uh, when I do a live broadcast like this I can't keep serious for an hour um, because this isn't a serious session this isn't this is just a relaxing hour of me just talking about nothing or the, or something or bits and bobs and nothing important necessarily and sometimes I will spend 10 minutes talking about one thing 
and making it last way longer than it could ever necessarily be justified. And that's kind of part of the plan. So it can hopefully suit for, pe for people that want to just fall asleep and just drift off, relax and, you know, because falling asleep, it needs to be relaxation beforehand. I think falling asleep isn't something, it's like anything, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you can't, don't ever force a fart, I think that's one of the things that in life, but you can't force you can't force yourself to be hungry, you can't force yourself to go to the toilet, you can't force yourself to feel relaxed, you can't force yourself to feel tired. It's about just allowing it to happen and allowing yourself to feel relaxed and calm. And then, then you can drift off to a sleep. And for those that don't wanna do that, you can just feel relaxed because this hour of me talking, regardless of if you're watching or listening live, it might be an hour where you can just really let go and let your mind, just give your mind a little holiday for an hour a day. And the good thing is, well, it's not necessarily a good thing, but I do these fairly regularly. So it's not just a, I've not just got like a, a couple of uh, sessions that you can listen to and then you're thinking, well, I've listened to this and quite a few times now and I wish you'd do some more stuff. It's kind of probably the opposite. I've done so many sessions, 75 of these. But I've also done over 800, if not more, recordings over the years. They're all available somewhere. <laughs> I can't even be bothered to, pr to promote my stuff. It's online somewhere, just have a look. My SoundCloud podcast has everything that's available to listen, to stream, or to download. YouTube has probably nearly 500 videos, I think. Just less than 500. And uh, so Yannicka says, well, in old days, ladies couldn't smile because of it created wrinkles, but those days are over. Um, and men were so lucky, no rules, never ever. So use it more often, it suits you. Oh, thank you. Um, well, I suppose if it creates, if smiling creates wrinkles for women, it's going to create wrinkles for men. But I'm, I'm way past that age to, I can't, I don't know. I think uh, when it comes to wrinkles, I don't even think about it really. Because I know I know and I'm aware that what I see in the mirror isn't what other people see. The same as what you see in the mirror isn't what, okay, maybe not what other people, isn't what everybody sees. People see us differently based on their own internal uh, world because you know, I might think, oh, I've got this big beard, it's getting bigger, and no woman would wanna, you know, be interested in dating someone with a big, big flappy beard like this. But that's not the case. It might be for lots of people, but not for everybody. Nothing is for everybody. There's always, you know, everyone's got their own likes and, you know, preferences and I think that's what makes makes things interesting really and also you know on a camera when you see someone it's quite often the photograph is not even the right way round is it as far as the you see the left side but actually it's the right side you're seeing 
so it looks different. If you look in the mirror, it looks different to the way that it would look if you looked at yourself directly. Beth got so bored with that. I bored you so much, didn't I? I won. I won, Beth. I really bored you to the point where you have to make up having a son. You haven't even got a child. You're making it up. <laughs> Oh, I've got to make up having a child because I've got to get out of this. It's so boring. I can't listen to him anymore. All right, Beth, have a nice uh, day or evening wherever you are. And I don't know what part of, I forget. Uh, Yannicka says, have you seen ornaments for a beard? What, you mean like a Christmas tree? All right, say hello to Elijah for me, or Elijah, Elijah or Elijah. Beth, bye. Um, yeah, I don't want to really walk around with a Christmas tree. Or my beard, can you imagine walking around with like little bells and on the top of my head I could have a little angel. Looks like it's on a toilet. Yeah, I could have a little angel sitting on a toilet on the top of my head. That's what I'm going to do if I ever get married. I'm going to have both the bride and the groom sitting on toilets on the top of the, of the cake. Bye, Beth. So that's the end of my today's Let Me Bore You to Sleep. I will be back again tomorrow with another one, very likely. So watch this space. And of course, even if you can't catch me live, then catch me afterwards. Listen, you can watch me on YouTube. Every video I upload to YouTube, every video stays on Facebook as well, the live ones. And every video, there's an audio of every video available to stream and download as well. So I'm gonna go. Bye everybody. Bye Beth and bye Yannicka. And anyone else that's watching at this precise moment. And my website is jasonnewland.com. And tomorrow I will have my little, I'll be wearing my little hat on my little friend, the microphone, before I start, and it will stay on there. It's never fallen off before. At least it didn't split, I suppose. Yeah, it just, just came off. So I put it back on the microphone when I finished here. Take care, everyone. Bye.